The first tip, which is a quite important tip, is everybody asks this, what stuff should I keep? So I have a slew of stuff in my inventory. I've got some armor, got some fashion, potion, blah blah blah. Well, for armors, basically it's the normal thing. Keep the one that's stronger, and for those that are not for junk, you want to salvage them. Salvage will turn into fragments, and fragments are used to, used to fortify your your armor your armor and weapon they're fortifying materials so what you do is click that and press ok and here's another quick tip hold control click it and then you drag on I don't want any of these see watch this thing keeps increasing so keep going it's founders beta is almost ending in like 24 minutes so I don't really care about these items Alright, fashion you can keep them you want there's a actually a fashion bank that's free I believe you get one row of one row of um, empty slots and more fashion potions that's something obvious keep them unless they're weak Th these things these things that look like crystals they're evolving they're evolving stones like in Pokemon so like this and every Eidolon has a different t type these ones I can't really check since I don't have them so always just keep them and keys those are the most important thing in this game. The most expensive thing, I bet, are those keys. And key fragments, always skip those. So next, the you see the words Conjure Battle, Reptile Skin, they're all grayed out. Those are just, you just sell them and throw them away. They're a waste of spot. And your mounts, keep them of course. Food, keep them, they're really good. Pickaxe, keep. Let's see, what else is important? All right, these. These are actually really important. They give you a chance to uh, summon Eidolon if you have 75, which these are quite hard, not hard to collect. You do daily quests and you can collect them, but they take time, probably three days, five days, somewhere around. Right these are uh, secret stones, which you put in a weapon and it increases your uh, skill damage and effect sometimes and add more effect to it. Uh, another version of secret stone these are secret stone upgraders so I'll show you in the, the next one actually no just know that these are secret these upgrade these you see this one's level one right now you use these you go to the secret stone uh, master then you upgrade them and you inlay them in your weapon so next the golden ones always keep they're pretty rare or they're just um, cash shop items uh, minerals right now there's no blacksmith so I can't really use minerals that's why I have a whole lot of these weapon crates just weapon crates got all of these you get these from dungeons recipe uh, keep them if you actually need them if you don't just throw them away S same thing and experience crystal always keep your experience crystal and another quick tip right here so experience crystal helps you evolve as you see right here I need 30 of them and if I feed 10 to her let's say it also helps you level up it will level up three two one bam 36 right there so i need to be level 40 before i evolve her which i have no time to collect more experience crystal experience crystal are dropped by mobs right here see these are really useful you know their skills you know their drops and real quick let's see if i can get lucky too. item here I believe that is all um, the item there exists there's also little perk items which all you do is just read their effects and know them. so what to throw away weapons you don't need fashions you don't need food you don't you will not use which is rare food are quite not hard to make but yes we're useless items like these all right and green items like these this one I'm just gonna throw them away because these are a uh, side quest which, if you right click them, oh whoops, this one's different. Oh, that's different. Some of, the, most of them, the game has not put any, uh, let's see, auto coordinates, for example. These have auto coordinates if you actually, see, auto coordinates. And when you right click some, 
some quest items they also auto route you to there but the one green ones that don't have it it's kind of a hassle to find the quest giver or the quest item that you need to combine with so i would just throw them away and that is all the tip for now to what to keep sorry but that was a bit extraneous but yeah so i'm going to talk a bit about envoy path before the server shuts down envoy path is your skill tree so for now there are two types of i would i want to say two, three or two types of envoy boxes one is um stat increase like crit increase uh incre stat increase when you equip such a weapon the next one is these things like that these are also stat increase like this one this some of them have special effects like this one if i drop below 40 percent i increase my evasion by 30 percent which is a lot because right now my evasion is 50 so my when i'm below 40 percent so many people miss my uh miss hitting me oh back to the way so what is a huge most recommended idea before you play is choose your secondary weapon uh I re regret actually choosing gun Gunslinger because it's quite weak. I barely use this skill. The traps are actually amazing for PvP. Set it down, you freeze them, and you die. There's a Dark Flare trap also. Let's see. Back to Envoy. Also, the side skills right here. The second type of skills are called Ultimate Skills or Ultimate Secondary Skills, which it combines your primary weapon and your secondary weapon. For now, I'm a gunslinger and a duelist, so I have a pistol and a blade. So Deadly Hall, which I'll show you real quick, is a both gunslinger, gun and bullet. Uh, uh, uh. And here's another one. Oh, I missed that. Some kind of silver glitch. Die there. So, uh, plan out your envoy because you do not get your second weapon until you're level 40 that is gonna take about two or three days if you play hours actually so plan your path plan uh, a guide to plan your path is first what secondary weapon you want and what secondary skill secondary ultimate skills do you plan to get for some of you plan to get that of course get that and second is what stats are you focusing on? Me, I'm focusing on high crit. My crit right now is not that great because I don't know why. It, sh it should be over 40%. Actually, this, this is normal. Yeah, plan out your crit. So, back to Envoy. You press C, Envoy's path. Uh, so, I went for crit, crit everywhere. You see, crit, crit. Well, that's crit damage, of course. And chance to DLT. Duelist is great for DLT, just a little bit tip there. Evasiveness, since I combine it with that, my evasiveness is OP. I think that's, and I'm going to show you a bit of the the uh, main skills and ultimate skills. Yes, here's my duelist skill, gunslinger skill, just some random skills that, like emotes and taunts. And here is the ultimate skills, which I rarely call them. Um, skill change like they change the effect of skills for example if i do not equip this i have my normal slash cut which does nothing if i equip that i get a plus 10 percent critical rate on that skill or if i could equip this i get um damage per second which i should have done this per tick for 10 seconds i should have done this instead because i have now i have two of them so, so like i said duelists are Amazing poison, poison duelist. I just hit that and just run away, and it would just die slowly, or even stronger. One. There, and they just die slowly. All right, sorry about that. So basically, general skills: your first one, your attack special, stats, basically advanced skill, which is this one. I chose that one because uh, DLT again, and just look over here and just plan it out you unlock each one per level for example if at level 47 i'll lock that one and these ones are uh you upgrade them by going into your skill master which they cost uh i believe the currency is 
token. Yeah, they cost token to buy skill upgrades, which you need about few hundred, sadly. And that is the tip for Envoy Path and Skills.